Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy. In this video, we are going to discuss two different concepts, Marshall Learner Condition and Jacob. So these two things are actually related. That's why we have grouped it together here. We will be discussing in detail the meaning of uh, Marshall Learner Condition and Jacob. So before understanding uh, the meaning of Marshall Learner Condition and Jacob, it is very much important to understand the meaning of devaluation. So what is devaluation? Most of you might be familiar with the term devaluation as most of you know. Devaluation involves deliberate downward adjustment in the value of a particular country's currency in terms of a current in terms of the current in terms of the value of some other country's currency or in terms of the value of a group of currencies or in terms of the value of currency standard so what you do here is that the central government uh, or the uh, monetary authority of the country that is the uh, central bank of the country would reduce the uh, value of uh, a particular country's currency in terms of some other country's currency. If you take the case of India and US, the central bank of India, that is the Reserve Bank of India, would reduce the value of Indian currency in terms of uh, the value of US dollars. So, this is what devaluation means and what why are you going for devaluation what is the main objective of devaluation main objective of devaluation is to improve your balance of trade accounts so in order to in order to promote exports in order to encourage exports and in order to discourage imports what what a country does is that it goes for what is known as devaluation so, and this is a deliberate attempt made by the monetary authority of the country when i say monetary authority that means the central bank of the country in the case of india it is reserve bank of india and in the case of us it is federal reserve and each and every country has got its own central bank so countries that have a fixed exchange rate kind of system or a semi fixed exchange rate kinds of system would use devaluation as a policy tool so this policy tool would be helping our economy to uh, to regain strength because it is helping our economy to promote our exports it is helping our economy to reduce our imports as a result our bal our balance of trade would definitely improve and also this would uh, be acting as a measure in order to deal with our current account deficit so when our exports are uh, less than our imports or our import when our imports are more than our exports what we would uh, face is a uh, faces an imbalance in our trade accounts uh, that will lead to more uh, more liabilities rather than assets or that would lead to more credit that would lead to more debit rather than credit so as a result what we have to do is that we will be borrowing and as a result there will be more deficits uh, for the country so in order to deal with all these things what we do is that we go for devaluation one important thing here to note is that you have to understand the difference between devaluation and depreciation so many of you might be knowing the difference but uh, for people those who are unaware of the difference between devaluation and depreciation let me repeat uh, the, uh, the meanings and differences between these two terms. Uh, first of all we have seen that devaluation is a deliberate adjustment made by a country a central bank uh, so as to reduce the value of a country's currency in terms of the value of some other currency. So this is something which is deliberately done by the central bank of a country but when it comes to depreciation here too the value of your currency would would be reduced or it, this would be lessened but this is not as a result of the action taken by the central bank of your country or the central uh, um, bank authority but this is something which happens as a result of interaction of market forces the market forces of demand and supply would move in such a way as to reduce uh, the value of your currency and this as a result what happens is depreciation so depreciation is something which is automatic but devaluation is a deliberate attempt so uh, whether it is the devaluation or depreciation you can increase your exports and your imports would be lessened but the difference is devaluation is deliberate attempt but depreciation is automatic so that's it now having understood uh, what devaluation is let's understand what marshall learner condition is in terms of economics so when i say marshall learner condition you have to understand that it's a particular condition from the name itself we can understand that it's a condition and what is this condition all about it's something which is connected with devaluation and this condition says that the marshall learner condition says that 
whenever a country you know that a country would be uh, a country would be uh, going for devaluation mainly to increase its exports and reduce its imports so in terms of that situation a country's currency will lead to improve a devaluation of the country's currency will definitely help a country in terms of improvement in its balance of trade if and only if martial condi martial learning condition is satisfied so that is the case so it says that you can go for devaluation in order to increase your exports or reduce your imports but if and only if martial learner condition is satisfied this devaluation will be effective and what is martial learner condition martial learner condition says that the sum of the price elasticity of exports and imports is greater than one so this is the case there can be possibilities that uh, the sum of price elasticity of exports and imports is less than one or the sum of price elasticity of exports and imports is equal to one so these are the three possibilities that can happen but martial learner conditions say that if you are going for devaluation and that devaluation would become effective if and only if the price elasticity the sum of the price elasticities of export and import is greater than one so this is the only case where your devaluation would become effective so if you satisfy martial learner condition that means that the your attempt for devaluation would become effective and that will help your country to gain in terms of improvement in balance of trade that would help your country to reduce uh, current account deficits so that's the case for example we can say that the total export revenue falls due to inelastic demand for a country's export and total import expense rises as a result of inelastic demand for its imports and this will definitely lead to worsening of a country's trade deficit right so devaluing its country uh, currency would always be the best way to forward uh, best way to promote exports and reduce trade deficit or uh, yeah, reduce the imports and reduce trade deficit so the martial learner condition is actually uh, something which tells that if you satisfy this particular condition and go then your attempt for devaluation will become effective and this would be helping your country to make improvement in your balance of trade so that you can reduce your trade deficit you can reduce your current account deficit you can reduce your deficits in uh, total i mean as a whole so the marshall learner condition is actually named after two people uh, Alfred Marshall, the famous economist uh, who have made so many contributions, especially in the arena of microeconomics, and uh, Abba Lerner, the next person. So uh, these, uh, these, uh, this particular condition is put forward by two people, Alfred Marshall and Abba Lerner. So what uh, does Jacob effect means is that uh, soon after going for devaluation, it doesn't improve your uh, balance of trade. Initially, your balance of trade would deteriorate, but after some point of time, your balance of trade would improve. Definitely, your balance of trade would improve, but this is after a point, after a, a duration, okay, uh, uh, with respect to time. And many importers as well as exporters in the country, for instance, you can see that they might be locked into binding contracts. And this is something which could force them to buy or sell certain number of goods despite un the unfavorable exchange rate in the currency system so this is what uh, give rise to what is known as jacob effect soon after the devaluation there won't be any improvement in your balance of trade but gradually your balance of trade would improve so soon after devaluation your balance of trade will deteriorate or it would be worsened but after some point of time it would improve that's it that is what is uh, shown Jacob so you can see uh, the Jacob effect in the form of a diagram here so in the y-axis what is uh, measured is your trade balance on the x-axis time is measured so time says what happens uh, uh, for a long duration after devaluation is introduced so initially your balance of trade line which is indicated by the Jacob this would deteriorate but after that it would improve gradually so that's all about jacob so that's all for today please like share and subscribe to the channel for more videos and you can be a part of my telegram channel as well as telegram group to discuss your doubts i'll be providing the links of both my telegram channel as well as telegram group in the description box also i uh, 
some uh, uh, some more matters or some more uh, uh, some more topics related to devaluation have been discussed uh, in uh, this channel so i have will be sharing the links of that particular topic here i have dealt with uh, the term competitive devaluation so if you want to know more about devaluation how different countries have resorted to this particular technique and how they have used this technique to improve their balance of trade situation uh, uh, you can go through that particular link i will be providing the link of commodity devaluation here so you can go through that as well so again i am requesting you to like share and subscribe to this channel so it's a request from my side so please do consider please do subscribe to this channel and uh, we can meet with a new video a new topic so till then bye